Thank you all so much for joining us today. My name is Johan Dietrich, and today I'm going to be talking about Wavetable. Um, through the use of our product, we allow you to realize your sonic imagination. So what is Wavetable? Wavetable allows you to use natural language to generate non-commercial music, sound effects, and audio content for use in production. So let me show you what you can make with Wavetable. So I'm going to show a, a demo of how Wavetable works. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in this prompt for an upbeat holiday pop song with jingle bells and keyboards. It's the holiday season. Maybe you need to produce some content for, for this time of year. And you just want to get something out the door pretty quickly. So you can use Wavetable to do something just like that. So what is the problem that Wavetable is seeking to solve? Um, creating audio content is time consuming, it's expensive, and it's not very scalable. And sometimes in some processes and some projects, you just want audio as a placeholder to move the creative process forward before hiring professionals. So the solution with Wavetable is to allow you to generate non-commercial audio content for you from text prompts in seconds. What the purpose of Wavetable is to make audio creation quick, easy, and accessible to everyone. And using this web-based uh, uh, platform, and I'll show some other things that we're also doing, it should feel like sketching ideas and generating rough drafts. That's why I like to call Wavetable Figma for sound design. So let's look at a few use cases where you can think about using Wavetable. So for example, in video, TV, film, and social media briefs where you need to get some content in for a 30 second reel, um, or maybe for a trailer for something that's about to come out, a commercial perhaps, um, you can use Wavetable for that. So I'm just gonna play some audio that I generated with Wavetable. The prompt in this case was an energetic, impactful soundtrack for an emotionally driven movie scene. Another use case might be sound design and special effects. So in this case, I used the prompt, a relaxing day at the beach with the sound of birds. And then for people who are designing digital spaces and virtual worlds, you can also create ambient soundscapes for that context. So in this case, I use the prompt, an ambient soundscape that inspires curiosity and wonder. So the Wavetable as a product comes in three different offerings currently. One is an API as a service, which um, allows you to make a request to an API with a text prompt and get back generated audio. It's a REST API, which means that it's easily integrated into your current products, tools, and platforms, so you don't have to build anything new. And some customizations that you can do with the API include telling it how many audio outputs you want to generate, what the duration of the audio should be, and the quality of the audio, which basically um, is a trade-off between speed and quality. So how fast you get the audio back versus how good the audio sounds. The other thing that we have as an offering is our enterprise solutions. 
Um, so this would look like custom training uh, based on proprietary data so that you would have your own custom in-house model that you know is, is only outputting audio on from uh, content that you have rights to. Um, this can also be useful for the case of attribution. So if you needed to look back and see who or, or what was used to train the audio, you can look at the trained data that you use and kind of have a good idea of where it came from. And we're also um, doing some early experiments with tweaking and making edits to audio, which I'll talk a bit more in, um, in a second. And then finally, we have this web-based platform, which I showed earlier, which is, is this, this intuitive web-based interface for exploring your sonic ideas. So a little bit about me. Um, my name is Johan, as I mentioned. I'm a UPenn grad and a NYU ITP alum. I'm, I'm also an artist and an engineer, and I've been working with music and sound design for over a decade, as well as being a software engineer at the same time. I've done sound installations for Google. Uh, I've done lectures and workshops at the Somerset House in London. And I just recently finished a sound design project for The Kitchen in New York City. Um, previously, I was the director of engineering at an early stage startup, and I'm now spending time working on projects um, like Wavetable. So the relevance to the creative industries at Bertelsmann, um, one is that uh, Wavetable is, is really great for non-commercial use cases. Um, so if you are looking to ideate and get rough drafts um, before hiring session musicians, for example, Wavetable is a great way to get some audio content out into the world so that you can hear. Um, we're also looking, we're also offering API integrations, as I mentioned before. So if you already have an existing platform, we provide a flexible API integration layer to plug into your existing tools and pipelines. And then coming back to this idea around scaling, um, you know, most places have limited capacities to handle the growing volume and demand for audio content and finishing briefs. And so using um, AI technologies, you're able to scale generative models and infrastructure to augment um, your talent already and handle increased demand. So what's next? Um, we're looking to pilot our API. Um, we're looking for people who want to integrate their API and give them early access. We're also looking to pilot our enterprise solution, which would include training a foundational model on public domain audio. So we don't have to worry so much about the case of copyrighted material, partnering with enterprises interested in custom training and hosting solutions for their own text to audio model. Um, this would also include early experiments with augmentation and tweaking. So being able to change the tempo of a track, swap out instruments, adjust the genre and style or modify the structure, um, as well as attribution and being able to have an audit trail of who was uh, included in the generation of this audio to help redistribute royalties um, down the line. And then we'll be uh, releasing uh, the web-based platform in a beta um, early next year. Um, so take, you know, keep an eye out for that. Um, what I'd like to do is present two asks to the people on the call. Um, one is for anyone that's interested in early access for the API, I'm very excited and, and ready and able to give you access. So for people who have platforms that want to start to integrate Wavetable today, uh, please let me know. And I would love to um, get you set up so you can start doing that. And the other ask that I have is for partners that are interested in doing custom training on their proprietary data um, to start to see how we can use um, Wavetable, not solely for generation, but for the augmentation and tweaking of tracks. So for folks here from Bertelsmann that are interested in um, partnering to do some early work on how we can make this augmentation and tweaking uh, uh, solution work with you, um, please let me know as well. I'd be really happy to have that start that conversation with you. Um, finally, the vision for uh, Wavetable is um, really to speak sound into existence. It's kind of this let there be light moment where you can talk out loud and say, I want this sound and then uh, the, the, the product will bring that sound back to you, um, as well as um, getting us closer towards a conversational um, co-pilot that lets you have a conversation back and forth and iterate and riff on ideas together. Um, the, the, the vision is a world-class music and sound design assistant that you can ideate with. So if any of this is interesting to you and you wanna work together, please let me know. Um, please feel free to contact me at my email address. I'll add it in the chat after this. 
Um, so thank you for thank you so much for listening. We're a wave table and we want to help you hear your imagination and bring your sonic ideas to life.